Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Dimma. Today's video is going to be an everyday, super easy makeup tutorial. This look that I'm going to show you guys how to do, it should not take your time at all. There are different versions of this on YouTube, but today I'm going to show you guys my own version. And it's just a very good way to transform your face really quickly before you leave the house. This is perfect for people who are going to school work. Like if you have very limited time to get ready in the morning, you're probably going to love this. So the first thing that I like to do is prime my skin. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer. This is highly recommended, especially if you have oily skin like I do. This is going to help your makeup lasts all day. I take about just one pump of that primer and apply it all over. To be honest, any primer that you do that already works for you will work for this. You don't need to go get this primer that I'm just using. So next, I'm going to do my brows. I'm just brushing my brow hairs up with a little bit of wax. In this case, I'm actually using soap. So if you have brow wax, that could be very easy for you. But my brows are very sparse, so I find that this just helps everything look much better for me. So yeah, I'm doing this so that it's going to be easier for me to fill my brows in. Okay, so next thing now would be to fill my brows in. So I first of all start by outlining them. Once I'm done outlining, I'm going to use brow powder. This is ABH's brow powder duo. To be honest, you can use your contour powder for this. You don't have to use brow powder. I just have it in here handy. If your brows are very thick, you can actually do without this, but my brows aren't. They're a bit thin and sparse. So for this particular look, brows tend to take up most of the time. Once you have your brows on lock, every other thing should just come a lot easy. So once I'm done with this, the next thing will be to define my brows. For this, I'll be using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW40. You can use any concealer that is maybe one to two shades lighter than your skin tone if you want your brows to really stand out. This is about one shade lighter than my skin tone. If you're not a big fan of like super duper defined brows, then I'd say use a concealer that is the same shade as your skin to define. Okay, so next thing I'll do is to apply a primer. This is P. Louise Base in Rumor 4. You can also use a concealer to do this if you don't have this particular product. All these things I'm doing right now, especially with the primer that I use on my face and the primer that I'll be using on my eyes, is to ensure that irrespective of the fact that you do this makeup really quickly, it actually lasts throughout the day for you. So if you have oily skin, eyeshadow tends to crease up a lot in this area for you. You definitely need something to help you control oil. So I'm going to use a primer. So this eyeshadow primer is very similar to the concealer shade that I use to define my brows. So what you just want is an even base from underneath your brows to your lid space. So take your setting powder. This is my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It's important that you set this because if you don't set it, especially this area, the crease, it's going to crease. So you need to set it. So now that I've done this, I'm going to move on to foundation. This is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Going to highlight now, I'm using the Flawless Ivy Camouflage Concealer and this particular shade is FL04. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to contour. This is my ABH um, Stick Foundation in Truffle. I've learned that it's just like easier to contour like this than to apply it straight onto the skin. This gives you a lot of control, especially if you're using a very dark contour stick or contour concealer or contour product. Now that this is done, I'm going to go in with an even brighter concealer. This is the same concealer that I just used, but another shade, like one shade lighter than that one. To be honest, you can actually stop with the first highlight that I've done. But I've seen from experience that doing this just gives your face like an extra lift and just makes you look a lot more awake, I would say. Especially if your eyes are puffy like early in the morning. I was actually just supposed to place this like this. I started talking and kind of forgot myself. But don't worry, we can fix it. So just here, okay, and then blend. 
okay you guys can see that there's this extra pizzazz that i have in this area now okay and i love it and one thing to do is i am blending that concealer into the edge of my nose like this before taking it out i'm also going to put a little bit down the bridge of my nose just a tiny little bit so with the same translucent powder that i used to set my eyes So with a small angled brush, like a fluffy angled brush, I'm going to take the same stick foundation that I used to contour, just a little bit of it, and make sure that this brush that you use is a blending brush. And I'm going to put that product into this area and just take it gently down the bridge of my, not bridge, sides of my nose. So to contour, this is my Milani Pressed Powder in Earth Glow, number 5. And I'm just going to apply this over the areas where I just used that stick foundation. Going to set the other highlighted parts of my face. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, but this one is in medium deep. So going to use this to carve this contour out. So. Honestly, you don't need a completely different powder for this. If the powder that you use in this area is very translucent and blends out very well, you don't need to go in with a darker powder, but I think that this just makes it easier when you're in a rush. I'm not going to let this sit for too long, so I'm just going to dust it off really quickly. Okay, looks good. To add some color to my face, I'm going to be using these products. These are the powder lipsticks from Charlotte by Ola Cosmetics. And let me tell you something, I've not used products like this one before. And I'm just really excited that they even exist. So they look like this. So with this particular look, the goal is to make everything faster and to cut that like down steps. So these products are multi-use. They can be used as eyeshadows, they can be used as a blush, they can be used as lip color. Like you can use them for different things. If you're going for like really, really nude, no color, I think I'm just going to use two of them to show you guys that instead of reaching for a blush and reaching for a lipstick and reaching for this and that, I'll just use these two products to finish up this look. So first, I'm going to use the same contour powder that I use to contour the rest of my face. So just contour my eyes a little bit, add some depth. So I just want to take that powder from this end to kind of meet the color that I have just here. If your crease is deep set, you don't need to do this, but my crease isn't deep set, so I am doing this. Translucent powder that I used earlier, I'm just going to blend that into this area. So this... I don't know how they've done this, but if you actually work it into the skin, it kind of disappears. Close up so that you guys understand just how amazing this is. So in the tube, it moves around like a powder. But then when you work it into the skin, it kind of melts into the skin. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this, just a tiny little bit, and pat this all over my eyelid. I want to bring that blush color into this area here. It also just like blends in really easily. I don't know how they've done this, but guys, look at that. It's kind of blended in to that area. I'm going to repeat this on the other eye. Guys, I'm so impressed with the way this has settled in and just dried down matte on my eyelid. It looks so natural. It was so easy. Easier than like an eyeshadow. That's actually insane. So this brand is doing a challenge, like a competition on Instagram right now. Their Instagram handle is Ola Cosmetics. So they are doing a challenge right now where they kind of challenge you to get these and do something with them and stand a chance to win money, which I think is very exciting. So all you have to do basically is get these use them to create a look you can use them for blush eyeliner eyeshadow lipstick like i already told you guys and tag them on instagram use the hashtag ola powdered lipstick challenge and use the hashtag ola powdered lipstick you also have to be following ola cosmetics on instagram i think that that is very very important and you stand a chance to win fifty thousand. they pick two people every week they win fifty thousand naira each and this challenge is on from now up until the 17th of april i don't think you want to miss out 50k is a lot of money Fifty thousand naira is a lot of money okay they have about three vendors that I know of. The first one is Sense and Beauty by Olivia, I think. They are in Lagos Island. They have another one in the UK. I'm going to have their details in the description box. I'm going to have the details of the vendor in Lagos Island in the description box. And I'm also going to have the details of another vendor i think the back gallery they are in Ilupeju here in lagos so just check the description box if you're interested in these they sell for four five each so 
To finish up this look, next thing would be to apply some mascara. And this is my Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. So we're going to put on a pair of falsies. Now that I have my lashes on, I'm going to dust off the excess powder that I have in this area. So once my lashes are on, I'm going to use a powder brush and just kind of work through my face to make sure that everything is well blended and there are no harsh lines, especially in this area where the contour kind of meets the highlight. I make sure that there are no harsh lines. The powder lipstick that I use on my eye area is called Nude, this one. For my blush, I have pink and red hair. I think I'm going to start off with pink, this one, just to see how bright it is. But blush is something that I always do. I never skip blush. First, I'm going to try and use a brush to see how this will apply. Okay, yeah. I like the way it's applying. So what I've done is I've put a little bit of pink on my arm, worked it in. Going with a fluffy brush. If you have a fluffy blush brush, you can use that. So just very gently smile. Yeah. This is the perfect color for this look. Actually, red would have been a bit too red. I like the amount of control that I'm getting with this. It allows for very like precise placements. So to wrap things up, I am going to line my lips with a dark brown pencil. This one is my Colourpop X Shayla. So nude. Guys, this thing just dissolves. I don't know how they've done it. So for everyday wear, I really like it when my lips are glossy. So now that I have the gradient that I want, I'm going over it with a gloss. This lip gloss is by ABH and this is their lip gloss in crystal. I believe that it's easier to retouch your lips like if you're doing like everyday things and it's glossy. I'm going to apply just a little bit. Uh. This look is pretty much done. All I have to do right now is to apply some mascara on my bottom lashes to balance things out. I keep swapping mirrors, like I have like four mirrors out and I keep forgetting that I bring them out. This is my Inglot Lash Enhancer. So that is it for this look, I'm done. And I think that this was really easy. Okay, the only thing that might take a little bit of time here are your lashes. But then I'm such a pro at applying lashes now that I can apply lashes in like a minute. On a very good day, in like a minute, I'll pop my lashes on. But know that lashes are very optional for this look. You can just apply mascara on your top and bottom lashes to open your eyes up. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you are not yet subscribed. Share it with someone if you think that they'll find it helpful. I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.